Hey there, beautiful souls. Hope you're all doing great. I've been sick lately, but now I'm feeling better, so I decided to give you a surprise twin flame reading. I'm going to check the energies around the Divine Feminine, and then I'm going to move towards the Divine Masculine, and I'm going to check the energies as well, and try to make some kind of conversation between the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. So, let's not waste any time and start with the energies around the Divine Feminine first. I'm going to use my Witches, Season of Witches of the Witches uh, Oracle deck. Just going to shuffle. Okay, so let's take a look what are the three main topics or three energies or the, the main things regarding the Divine Feminine. We are starting with the elements in reverse position. Okay, so the elements have something to do with... Uh, actually, let's take a look at it from an upright position. The elements have something to do with harvest. The elements have something to do with preparation. And since we have uh, this card in reverse position, what I'm feeling is that something needs to be prepared yet. Something is not completely ready yet in the life of the Divine Feminine. Maybe you need to focus on yourself, on your self-growth, or maybe you just need to dive deeper in your spiritual world. But indeed, from this card, I've sensed some kind of feminine energy because you can see the company of many ladies here, and one of them is like a ghost behind them. It might have something to do with generations here and uh, yeah I see this lady is having something like uh, wine or something some kind of a liquid here and there is even a mushroom around this lady so indeed this card wants to say it's some kind of growth some kind of um, harvesting something that needs to be harvested some kind of it wants to indicate efforts also, I'm sensing celebration since this lady is drinking something like a wine and it has something to do with progress, generational progress. Something that has been progressing maybe through multiple lifetimes and uh, since it came in reverse position, I sense that it is still in its preparation moment. It's still getting ready. So let's take a look at the other cards that are going to come. Please, Spirit, give us one more main topic regarding the Divine Feminine, what we need to know. By the way, now we are talking about the Divine Feminine, but just in case, although I doubt, <laughs> if you are being represented as a Divine Masculine, well, this is regarding the person that probably you've been ghosting or blocking. So, yeah, the next part of the reading will be regarding you. Let's take a look at the next card. What is the next main topic around the Divine Feminine? We have the Dark Moon in reverse position. Well, the Dark Moon has something to do with new beginnings. The Dark Moon has something to do with summoning something new. And you can see that this lady, she's like making something like a magic here. And she's summoning something through the palm of her hands. And just let me orient which hand is that. Is it the left or the right hand? Mm, I think, yeah, it's the left hand. So the left hand is the receiving hand. So she's not summoning something. Actually, she's receiving something. Something is like entering through the palm of her hands. And yeah, since this card is something regarding new beginnings and it came in reverse position, I feel like again here the Divine Feminine is being prepared for some kind of a new beginning. She is not ready yet, but she is getting ready. She is getting prepared for something new to enter her life. And yeah, also this card has the number 13. 13 is a number of change. So again, I'm sensing that some, some kind of a change is about to happen, some kind of a shift is about to enter in the lives of the Divine Feminine. And they are getting ready for it, they are getting prepared for it. 
I mean, both cards came in reverse position here. So, indeed, I'm sensing that something is being in progress, something is being prepared. Let's take one more card regarding the Divine Feminine. What is the next main topic regarding the Divine Feminine? What we need to know? Intuition. Okay. That's quite interesting. This card is saying to you, just trust your intuition. Because in this journey, I can completely understand you. Most of you are quite confused and maybe someday you are you are like thinking that everything is in your head. There is no, not such a thing as a twin flame. Maybe another day you are coming up with different thoughts and emotions and feelings and everything is going mind a little wild. And there is something like a fight between the heart and the mind. But this card is saying to you, trust your intuition. Because most of you, I'm pretty sure, you have intuitive feeling regarding the things that are coming into your life. And, I mean, drawing this card wants to say to you as a main topic that you have strong intuition. There is something that you are sensing on intuitive level. And just trust that gut feeling. Here we can see the third chakra of that lady. I mean the third chakra, the third eye chakra of that lady. And also her eyes are a bit more hypnotic, like she's in a trance, like she's, she's gazing through you. That's what I'm feeling when I'm looking at this card. And not just with the two eyes, with the all three eyes. She's like gazing through you. She's looking at you, but she's seeing through you, something like that. This is what I'm sensing from this lady here. And yeah, the card just wants to invite you to trust your intuition and your intuitive feelings. Okay, so now let's check the tarots. Oops. I will make another attempt because the cards didn't mix good. <laughs> attempt number two. So let's first check how is your energy right now? What is your how is your current energy? Please, Spirit, give us information. What is the current energy of the Divine Feminine? What is the current energy, the collective energy of the Divine Feminine right now? Oh, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Justice card in reverse. And in the bottom we have Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so... Well, no wonder that these two cards came in reverse position. They just want to say that you are being prepared for something and you are being... I mean, you are being prepared for something and something is being shifted in your life. But usually when something is being shifted, we are going through some kind of tough cycles. And also this card here wants to say to you that you should trust your intuition in this journey because your intuition is a key factor here. And what we got from the tarot actually wants to say that at the moment as a current energy, you might be feeling a bit... <laughs> Just a second because I can't flip the card. It's a bit persistent. Yeah. So at the moment you might be feeling that... Um, well, you can see the card very well. It doesn't want to indicate something positive. Probably at the moment your energy is a bit low. Probably some of you literally might be sick, just like me, might be having a flu or something. But um, yeah, the energy at the moment is not that good. Maybe there are some depressive thoughts. Maybe you are just feeling a bit down, feeling a bit under the weather. And this is coming because the Justice card also is in reverse position. You are feeling like something is not going in a fair way for you. 
you are feeling like maybe the li life and universe is not being fair to you because justice is a major arcana. The major arcana wants to indicate something that is like beyond our control, something that is coming from the universe, from life in general. And since it is in the reverse position, you are just feeling like um, like something is not being fair towards you. Maybe you are checking on the profile of your other counterpart and seeing that they are doing okay or maybe you are just uh, missing your other counterpart and feeling like like things are not fair but the overall energy is a bit low at the moment and as a general we have the seven of pentacles in the bottom of the deck which wants to indicate some kind of um, an anxiety some kind of um, well, this card normally wants to indicate patience. Someone that knows that the fruits, I mean, all the, that plant is going to give uh, the fruits that they desire. Someone that is patiently waiting and nurturing those plants. But since this card uh, came in reverse position, it wants to indicate that here we have some kind of um, energy that is opposite to that of patience. Someone here is impatient and someone is feeling a bit anxious. Someone is feeling like um, maybe you are questioning yourself. Is it all worth it? Is it, um, is it all right for me to wait for this to grow? Which, which is quite understandable because this journey is a tough journey and yeah, I can completely understand you if you are questioning yourself. All right, let's keep moving with the cards. Mm, please, Spirit, give us more information about the Divine Feminine. Uh, what are the energies towards the Divine Masculine? I mean, what does she feel? How? What is her attitude towards the Divine Masculine? How does she feel regarding the Divine Masculine? Page of Cups in reverse position. The Hermits and Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, that says a lot here. So, again, we have major combination of Major Arcana and uh, Minor Arcana. So, having the Page of Cups here, some of you might be feeling that, um, that your Divine Counterpart is, um, well, I just sense some kind of sadness here from this page of uh, cups in reverse position because he is reversed and the fish that is uh, that is sitting in his cup is going to fall fall out and since the page is uh, represented as a child of uh, of the tarot the pages are like children and I can assume that the page is quite and been entertained with that fish in the cup but since the fish is going to fall I think uh, yeah, I think that there is some kind of sadness here. Also, just looking at that water behind the page, it wants to indicate some kind of emotions that are being that are being uh, suppressed because the water is behind him, and it's like he's trying to suppress some kind of emotions here since he came in reverse position. And under it we have the Hermit card. The Hermit card wants to indicate some kind of isolation. Some kind of um, deeper inner knowledge. Going deep within, which is something quite typical for the Divine Feminine. I mean, if you have seen my video about the darkness and light, about the yin-yang symbol, you are, well, it pretty much describes the journey of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the Divine Feminine usually is the one that is feeling things in a more deeper level. She is the one that goes deeper within and she is the one that is um, experiencing a lot more transformations uh, than the Divine Masculine. Well, the Divine Masculine goes through things as well, but for the Divine Masculine things are different. It's more like um, storm in paradise or something like that. They're their issues are not as deep and they are not as dark and deep as the ones that the Divine Feminine is undergoing. 
and having the hermit card wants to indicate some kind of isolation here some kind of isolation and going within and i just noticed that this hermit i mean seeing his head that is inclined towards uh, forward it's like he has made peace with something so i feel like the divine feminine here the ones that are watching um, you have made peace with something here you probably most of you already know about your journey about your twin flame journey and um, you have made peace with that situation and you are just going deep within although you are feeling sad you are going deep within but as a general energy here i sense desire for something new the divine feminine wants to start something new here she wants some kind of a new new chance new beginning with the ace of pentacles and not just uh, not just uh, any kind of new beginning some kind of a stable new beginning some kind of steady new beginning because maybe things with your divine counterpart were a bit shaky like there was some kind of on and off situation but having the pentacle just wants to indicate some kind of stability here and having it as an ace even more the desire for some kind of a stable new beginning something steady maybe even regarding your financial life you are just looking for something more stable something steady you're looking for something that is more grounded all right mm. what else we need to know regarding the divine family here please spirit give us more information what else we need to know regarding the divine feminine We have the the five of pen, uh, five of cups in reverse. <laughs> Again, we have the the seven of, of pentacles, and in the bottom we have the queen of um, queen of swords in reverse position. Okay, it's funny though because we had the the seven of pentacles in reverse position. I mean, if you remember when I draw these cards and now probably I just shifted the deck somehow and it came in upright position. So the cards pretty much are coming the way they want to come. I mean, no matter what I do, the energy is being, I mean, the energy is just coming the way it is supposed to come. I'm just going to move them a bit so they are more visible for you. Just let me take a look. Yeah, I'm just going to move these ones a bit so you can see the whole cards. So, here we have the five of uh, cups and the seven of uh, seven of pentacles and the queen of swords in the bottom of the deck. So, starting off with the five of cups in reverse. Well, this is a very sad card. Someone here is quite sad again. The energies of the divine feminine are well. Since these are the last cards, actually, they came a bit more positive they came a bit more positive because the five of cups is usually talking about some kind of regret here there is some kind of regret but since this card is coming in reverse position i'm feeling like you are starting to realize something you are starting to see something from a different perspective your perspective is shifting and maybe you are getting a bit more positive here you are starting to see things from a bit more positive perspective it's like you are accepting your journey and this time having the seven of pentacles in upright position again it wants to say a lot about the twin flame journey itself it wants to say that you are starting to gain back your patience it's like a roller coaster actually this is what we saw in the tarot deck is a general energy here we are starting off here as impatience, as um, feeling sad, as acknowledging some kind of injustice. Then we are going deep within, analyzing things. And then we are coming back a bit more hopeful. Uh, unfortunately, this is how it is. <laughs> this is how this journey is. And yeah, it is quite tough, but it is what it is. It helps us grow. and. I mean, if it was easy breezy, it would be it would be too shallow, it would be boring, it would end like quite sooner. Since it is so 
much more difficult and complex. It helps us grow. It helps us go within. It helps us uh, expand our horizons. And I mean, if you look back from the beginning of this journey, I mean, I, I don't know how long you have been on this kind of journey, but if you look back and see how much progress we have made from the beginning until now, you will realize that this journey is helping you grow. I mean, at least for me, if I look back three years ago until now, I have grown so much. And yeah, this, this is quite, quite rewarding. It helps you grow in spiritual aspect. It helps you reach new level of depth and uh, understanding. So, yeah, having the Seven of Pentacles here, indeed, I feel like you are regaining your, at least you are about to regain your uh, trust in that journey. Because here we saw some kind of um, depressive element, some kind of um, sensation that uh, is not all right. And there was also impatience. Here we see that you are gaining back your patience, you are gaining back your trust, and you are coming out from that depressive episode that you have experienced, or you might be experiencing now because we are talking about current energies here. So indeed, this is like a roller coaster here for the Divine Feminine. And having the Queen of Swords in reverse position, actually this is not the very best position for the Queen, because the Kings and Queens don't like to be reversed. I just want to see it at her throne, because I see something like an angel on the throne. Well, having the Queen in reverse position, it wants to indicate some kind of... Um, some kind of uh, misunderstanding, some kind of um, idea or something that was not understood correctly, something that was not perceived in the right way. Mm. As general, maybe, well, as, as a general energy, we are going through a lot of confusions within this journey, and it is really hard to grasp uh, what is real and what is not, because Usually our senses are telling us one thing, while our mind and our reality sometimes is telling us a completely different thing. Not to mention that we often see synchronicities and numbers, and it's like the universe is trying to say us one thing. But in our 3D life, things are going in a completely different way. But this is the way how the universe is trying to say to us just to have hope and just to trust the journey, just to trust that... Um, all that is happening is happening for our own best. And indeed you have the intuition card here. The intuition card here is a general energy, is a main topic. So, I mean, you can perceive yourself that you should trust your intuition no matter what. All right. Um, just bear with me for a moment. Maybe I will take some cards in order to see in order to see what you would like to say to the Divine Masculine if you had a chance to talk to him or her. Because here we are talking about energies, it's not genders, it's energies, the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine could be from female gender as well. So, let's see. What would you like to say to your Divine Masculine if you had a chance to talk to them? I couldn't let you get close to me. Okay, this might resonate for some of you. Maybe some of you were afraid to let the other person to get too close to you. Or maybe... Mm. Maybe this connection was too strong and it was scaring you just as well as it was scaring them. Let's go deeper. What would you like to say to them if you had a chance to talk to them? My life is not as together as it seems. Well, I feel like here the messages are pretty much reflected with the Divine Masculine because 
both sides might be pretending that things are all right, although they might not be. And let's take one last message here. What would you like to say to them if you had a chance to talk to them? I love you. <laughs> okay, this is more than clear here that you know your feelings, you know what you feel towards them. And especially in this situation, I mean, for the Twin Flame journey, love usually comes unconditional because we have someone that is running away and we don't always know if that person is going to come back or not. But the fact that this card is saying, I love you, it's it speaks... Uh, well, it's like the, the unconditional love that we all need to achieve through that journey. The unconditional love that helps us grow. Alright, so this was the Divine Feminine Energy. Uh, if you want to stay for the next part which will involve the Divine Masculine Energy, feel free just to continue with the video. If you just want to see this part, Please don't hesitate to hit the like button if you enjoy this video and find it useful and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done this yet. So let's continue with the next part. I'm just going to pick up all the cards. Actually I was not sure if it was okay to take cards for you, I mean to take cards for the conversation between you because pretty much you know what you want to say to them. But this is like uh, also part of the energy, just to indicate how are the energies, which came quite good. I mean, there are confusions, there are things, but uh, overall there is love going on, which is how it's supposed to be. And it's all part of the journey. I mean, as confusing as it is, it's all part of the journey. All right, let's proceed with the Divine Masculine here. Okay, let's take three main topics for the Divine Masculine and see what is going on with their life, what we need to know regarding the Divine Masculine. Just going to shuffle the deck, just bear with me. Okay. So, let's get three main topics for the Divine Masculine, what is going on within their lives. We have the Whale, okay, and the Whale came in reverse position. They are in process of finding out something, they are in process of uncovering something, because you can see that here we have some somebody like looks like a bride <laughs> and she's holding a candle and what I'm sensing from this card is that here we are talking about some kind of a deep secret and someone that is going deep within and especially since this card came in reverse position I feel like they are going even deeper within which is always good news for a divine masculine because Usually the Divine Masculine is the one that is a bit more on the surface, someone that is a bit more superficial and not feeling that journey. But it's a good sign that they are going deep within, because this is a sign that they are getting close to being awakened. And also I noticed that candle that has no flame, it has something like, um, like a dark smoke, which which is kind of weird to me. Why would she call the candle if it doesn't bring, give any light and if she is in a complete darkness? Hmm. Well, it feels a bit mysterious to me why this candle doesn't have any light and it has some kind of a dark smoke. Maybe the smoke wants to indicate something regarding memories. Maybe they are going deep within their memories and trying to, yeah, trying to go within the memories in order to find out something. Maybe they are going through 
what they know or what has happened within them i mean within this journey or maybe they are going even deeper maybe they are going within their own traumas and trying to analyze things i'm just going to put the cards sorry for the camera shake all right let's keep going please spirit give us one more card in order to see what is the main topic around the main uh, about the main about the divine masculine here what we need to know regarding the divine masculine we have the witch card okay so <laughs> i feel like well the witch card wants to indicate someone that is um yeah going again someone that is finding knowledge someone that is um not literally becoming a witch but someone that is mastering something and again with this card i mean you can see this girl that is holding the flowers and there are like flowers that are levitating around her i sense that they are forming a heart here <laughs> and indeed i feel like the divine masculine is uh, getting some kind of knowledge they are Maybe they are finding answers regarding this connection because we saw them with the whale that they are going deep within. And I feel like the Divine Masculine, and in well, as a collective energy, most of them are being activated and they are going within. They are experiencing their own dark night of the soul and they are finding answers regarding this journey and being awakened. So drawing the witch card is a very good sign for this. And especially I mean seeing all those flowers flying around. I don't know why, I, it just comes to me as if they are realizing something about the Divine Feminine here because we have the flowers that are flying. Maybe some of them are getting ready literally to come with flowers towards you. But I'm sensing from this card that they are gaining some kind of knowledge, they are finding some kind of information they are going deep within and they are gathering some kind of information. They are being enlightened regarding this journey. All right, let's take one more card. Please, Spirit, give us one last card regarding the Divine Masculine. What is the main topic with the Divine Masculine as a collective energy? We have the haunted the haunted card in reverse position. <laughs> okay. So there is no no other saying the divine masculine is literally haunted by the divine feminine. Or they are haunted by regret, that's what I'm feeling here. They are whatever has happened between you two, it doesn't give them peace. Especially since this card came in reverse position, it wants to indicate a lot stronger emotions and you can see the tears in the eyes of this girl so i'm sensing a lot of regret here in the divine masculine they are coming to realize things they are going deep within they are having their own dark night of the soul maybe their own world is falling apart or maybe they just don't get satisfaction anymore from their own life and they are going deep within they are gaining knowledge, they are realizing things, and they are feeling very regretful towards the Divine Feminine. I mean, you can see the tears in the eye of this girl, and you can see all those hands that are trying to reach her. And she's just sitting alone on a chair. Maybe some of the Divine Masculines are fe feeling lonely, and just having these cards in the reverse position wants to indicate that the effect is even stronger that they cannot let go of regrets they are being haunted in a very strong way okay well this is not bad news actually i mean this is not bad news because this means that they are realizing the journey they are realizing what is going on and uh, this this is actually a sign that they are getting close to be awakened and to 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 keep contact with the Divine Feminine in order to just talk things out or get some kind of clarity. Alright. Going to use my tarot card as well. Tarot cards as well. Just going to shuffle.
Okay, let's start with their current energy. Please, Spirit, give us information. What is the current energy of the Divine Masculine as a collective? What is their current energy? We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Five of Pentacles. And the World Cards. Okay. Okay. This is quite interesting here. Indeed, here as an energy we have the Divine Masculine feeling lovesick. I mean, the Two of Cups here, if it was in this position, it would be the good energy. But since it comes in reverse position, I'm sensing that they are feeling... Indeed, I'm sensing some kind of regret here. They feel miserable, they feel like they have messed things up. Especially having this card under it. And the Divine Feminine got this card as well. It was in the very beginning of the current energy of the Divine Feminine actually. So, things are pretty much mirrored here. So, I'm sensing that the Divine Masculine is feeling regret. They feel like they've messed up things in love, in, in love aspect. And they are feeling miserable. They are feeling like... They are feeling quite lonely. They are feeling like... Um, things are out of control or they just feel like they have messed up. As a current energy. And having the world cards in the bottom of the deck wants to indicate some kind of border, some kind of... Um, it might be some kind of achievement actually. They might be... As general energy, they might be willing to make some kind of achievement. They are, they might be looking for some kind of completion. But at the moment, they are feeling quite sad, and they are feeling, uh, they are feeling like they have messed things up. For some of you, this might literally mean some kind of borders. Either take it as uh, literal borders, like living in different countries, living in, living in different places far away from each other or it might be another kind of border like not country but for example having some kind of situation that is not allowing them to come to you or just having something that is blocking them to come towards you but this is the general energy at the moment let's take a look how they feel towards you Please, Spirit, give us information. How is the Divine Masculine feeling towards the Divine Feminine? What are the feelings of the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine? It's collective. The Sun card. That's quite good. And the Seven of Wands. And Five of, Pent five of Cups in reverse position in the bottom of the deck. Okay, that's quite good actually. Just going to lift them up and they are a bit hard to pick up. So, having the Sun card wants to indicate a lot of positive feelings. They are literally seeing you as their sunshine. Maybe they are in a quite dark place at the moment and they see you as their hope of light. I mean, their light of hope. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. They see you as their sunshine. They see you as something quite positive. Mm. And having the Seven of Wands under, under this card, I feel like the Divine Masculine is ready to fight for this. Because you can see how this man is defending himself from these Wands that are coming towards him. And he's ready to just defend himself. So I feel like the Divine Masculine is ready to fight for his happiness. And they see you as their happiness because we have the Sun card here, which is the most positive card that can come in Tarot. It is actually the most positive card. And they might be seeing you as someone innocent as well because my focus is on this child that is on that uh, horse or donkey or whatever. I think it's a horse. It's a small one though. So they might be seeing you as innocent and childlike. But 
yeah the feelings are there and having the having the five of uh, cups in reverse position in the bottom of the deck wants to indicate again regret somebody here is quite regretful maybe they couldn't do the right steps when they had to and now they are regretting a lot i mean you can see this person how regretful he is and having this in reverse position it wants to indicate that someone is realizing something again maybe before they were not able to see something but now they are seeing it and they are realizing something and i sense regrets i sense that the divine masculine is feeling regretful regarding what they couldn't do towards the divine feminine all right let's take some more cards please spirit give us more information what we need to know about the divine masculine as a collective what else we need to know about the divine masculine as a collective what information we need to know about the divine masculine ace of swords in reverse king of pentacles in reverse and the hero font in reverse okay a lot of reverse cards hmm just going to take a look at these two. Having the Ace of Swords in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like they are still a bit hesitant regarding communication here. They are still a bit scared. They don't feel stable enough because the King here is... Um, the King here is with his head down. The Kings don't like being reversed. And they are feeling a bit unstable. They are not feeling ready yet to come forward to you. Or maybe they want to because, I mean, these cards, if they were in an upright position, they would indicate some kind of readiness, some kind of determination to just do the right thing. But since they came in reverse position, it wants to indicate some kind of blocked energy. Something is feeling blocked here and they are not feeling stable, they are not feeling... They are a bit hesitant to come forward, but there is a desire, definitely. Definitely, since, since we have the Ace of Swords, even though it's in the reverse position, there is a desire here to make things right. There is a desire to, to communicate, to start something new, especially for communication, to start some kind of conversation with you. There is a desire, but they are a bit hesitant because the card is in reverse. And especially because the King of Pentacles is in reverse as well, which wants to indicate that they are not feeling stable enough to do that. Maybe they need to gain more courage or they need to pick up their thoughts and they need to just um, reflect and go even deeper in order to come up with the right words, come up with the right offering. And having the hero fund here in reverse position again. Mm. As a general energy, I'm sensing someone that is feeling a bit out of his comfort zone. Because the hero fund is representing Taurus. Taurus is a fixed sign which has a lot to do with feeling comfortable. And since this card is in reverse position, I'm sensing someone that is feeling a bit out of their comfort zone. Maybe that's why they are not... Um, also, we have the King of Pentacles, another Earth Energy card that is indicating that someone is feeling a bit shaky, a bit unstable, a bit not in their comfortable zone in order to approach you. So, yeah, this is what I'm feeling for the Divine Masculine here, that they are feeling a bit out of their comfort zone. They feel like they need to change the way they see things. Maybe they are, maybe they are still in the process of. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. Since we have this card in reverse position, the well, they are still in their dark night of the soul. They are still learning about themselves. They are still learning about this connection. They are still going deep within. So. They don't feel ready yet. At least this is what came as a collective energy. And this reading is collective. 
it's not pick a pile it is very collective so not everything might completely resonate here but this is what we have as an energy for the collective for the twin flames all right let's um let's make them talk let's see what they would like to say to you if they had a chance to talk okay what would you like to say to the divine feminine if you could if you could have a conversation with your divine feminine I lost myself for a little while. Okay. Well, the Divine Masculine usually is getting quite lost <laughs> within this journey, especially after they are being awakened. And they are saying to you that they lost themselves for a little while. Usually the Divine Masculine is tending to focus more on their professional life, on their, on their superficial life in general. And they are not seeing the connection as the Divine Feminine sees it, at least until one period. Once they start seeing it the same way, they, they get full of regrets, which we saw here. Alright, what else would you like to say to the Divine Feminine, if you had a chance to talk? I hit who I really am from you. Okay. So, literally here somebody was hiding their identity. They were hiding their feelings. They were hiding something from you. They didn't want to show themselves. They were scared to show their true colors to you. They were scared that you might run away from them. And probably that's why they chose to, to distance themselves first. So like that, you won't be able to hurt them. What else would you like to say to the Divine Feminine? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Okay, well, maybe you are feeling that too. Maybe you are you are in communication with them in the 5D, but they say that they think about you. They stay awake and they think about you. Let's take some more. For the Divine Feminine, I took a bit less because I feel like there aren't that many Divine Masculines that are going to watch this video. So I think it's better to just focus more on the Divine Masculine because I'm pretty sure most of you just want to know what is going on with the Divine Masculine. So I will take two more cards. Please tell us what you would, what you would like to say to the Divine Feminine if you had a chance to talk. I want to feel that way again. They are saying to you that they want to feel that way again. Mm. They feel like they have lost something, definitely, and they, and they want to feel that way again. But I'm sensing that they are a bit hesitant. Okay, last message. What would you like to say to the Divine Feminine if you had a chance to talk? I feel you even though we are apart. Okay, the last message was the most beautiful one. So, they are saying to you that even though you are apart, it's like your presence has never left them. It's like your presence has always been with them, regardless of anything. So, these were your messages for all of you who chose to tune in in this Twin Flame reading. But please keep in mind that this is a collective reading. So. These are just the energies around the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And things are shifting, things are moving forward. I feel like both parts are going through some kind of shift, some kind of a rough cycle. Especially the Divine Feminine with her things are going like a roller coaster. And the Divine Masculine is starting to get awakened, starting to realize about this connection. For some of you, maybe, maybe there might be some kind of conversations maybe there might be some kind of communications because we had the ace of swords here even though it was in a reverse position 
I still sense that desire to talk, but at the same time, that hesitancy. But it's still a good sign because they are going deep within, they are reflecting about, over things. So that was the reading for all of you who who chose to tune in in this Twin Fame reading. If you enjoyed it, please don't hesitate to hit the like button so more people can see it and benefit from it. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done this yet. And yeah, that was it. If you want to know more about the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, you can check the video about um, in which I'm explaining using the Yin Yang symbol regarding the entire Twin Flame journey. And I will put it somewhere after this video ends, you will see it. And yeah, actually this is what I had to share with you today. Thank you very much for your time, thank you for your attention and I hope to see you again. Wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Bye!